this is serious and we are back with another fun dog training pinning video if you are new here welcome thank you so much for joining us if you're coming back welcome back um you might know my name is sassafras i am a trick dog uh trainer i am an author i'm a freelance canine journalist i have written all kinds of books about helping people have fun with their dogs including tricks in the city and to this journal really excitingly i actually have a cat training book that will be out from the same press uh, by christmas i like i said i'm a freelance writer i write for all kinds of publications all about life with dogs and dog training including the new york times wired apartment therapy dogster magazine Capster magazine the american kennel club cuteness outward hound all kinds of places uh, you probably see my articles around on the internet and i absolutely love helping people to have more fun with their dogs exploring enrichment activities training tricks all that stuff i am a certified trick dog instructor through do more with your dog i'm also an american kennel club uh can i get citizen evaluator so i'm able to evaluate trick dog titles for both do more with your dog and the american kennel club and i have evaluated over 300 trick dog titles for dog handler teams all over the world i absolutely am passionate about people and dogs having more fun together so today's video is going to be a planning video i put up a poll on my instagram stories and on Sirius's instagram stories asking if i should do another plan with me in my dog training planner and the answer was yes uh, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to chat a little bit about our training goals, what I'm prioritizing with Sirius, what we're working on right now, why I haven't uploaded a uh, plan with me video in a few months, and we're going to get started on that right now. Okay, let's get planning. So we actually have some better tech setup than I've had in the past for these videos, which is super exciting. If you've seen them before, I now have a better setup to be able to film from above for this. So this is my dog training planner that I released actually just about a year ago. It is available in a downloadable PDF <laughs> that you can get directly from me, or it's available in this print version uh, from Amazon, and I will include those links below. So this dog training planner um, came about as a request very much from folks in my coaching group. Those are my notes about what I'm going to put in this week um looking to have a really simple way to model after the same bullet journal style tracking that i have been doing for a few years with my dogs um, so a little a pencil pouch getting ready i love this little calm keychain on it this pencil pouch was made for me um by a literary friend we were on a panel together at a conference and she gave it to me but and then i put this little calm keychain on it so i have my little supplies ready to go but this is very much a model that I would create weekly and monthly bullet journal spreads for for years for tracking what I was working on with my dogs. And last year I realized that I was wasting a lot of time or for me felt like wasting time creating those spreads and it would be easier to be able just to have a pre-created spread. So I'm going to put some washi tape on. Don't have to do that. It just brings me joy and happiness. So I'm going to. And you have it me do a bullet journal spread or a planner spread for dog training in a little while because I haven't um, so one of the really great things that I was really committed to when I created this planner was having it not dated because what I wanted to do was to be able to leave open the possibility that there might be large chunks of time that I wouldn't use it in fact the last week I was in here was in August uh, and then life got busy and I was actually in the middle of changing some of my own sort of planning. This is the week of January 24th. Um, all of my planning that I was doing for my writing business, for uh, everything. And so I wasn't sure I wanted to continue to use a separate training planner. And so I haven't been. <laughs> Um, and then I realized that I actually kind of needed that separate space. So this week I realized it would be helpful to have that space again. And so I'm coming back into my planner. I'm going to, now that I've got my other organization systems really figured out 
for writing and business stuff that I do think it is helpful to have a separate one for me for training. And so I'm coming back in here and I'm just going to start a new week. And that's what I really like about this format. So my goal for Sirius this week is about confidence and fluency. Uh, in the skills that we're working on. And I think it's really helpful to name just like a weekly goal or a priority that is overarching around what you're working on. And so then for skills that we're going to be doing this week, uh, I have a few picked out. We are doing, if you follow us on social media, you might know we're doing a 30 day hold challenge. I love setting up like 30 day challenges for us with training. And so this hold challenge is asking her to hold all kinds of novel objects, safe objects, obviously, uh, and really building her confidence and understanding of hold as a cue um, with all kinds of objects. It's been going super, super well. And uh, so we're gonna keep that up this week. We're also uh, working on her read trick, adding in um, fluency with that, as well as maybe another word. Um, we are doing scent games. We, if you followed our videos in the fall, we did uh, her beginner title with the AKC Virtual Scent Work Program. I think we may be doing her intermediate and uh, expert titles. She has all the skills for them. It's just a matter of the weather cooperating and me taking the time to film the right videos for that. Um, we have been, a new trick for her is Splat, which is my version of Play Dead. Uh, she's got it, but we're still playing with that because it is, I think, the newest trick she has learned. We have uh, foot, which is a rear foot target. I realize somehow she doesn't have a specific rear foot target on cue. I don't know how I didn't teach that, but I didn't. Uh, so that's something that she's learning right now. And uh, mailbox, which is a fun Valentine's Day trick that she's just learning with a prop she got for her birthday. So those are going to be our trick uh, training goals for the week. We have our grooming section. I have a very grooming intensive breed. Grooming is super important. It's a daily activity for me, but all dogs need weekly grooming. So you can track when you're doing that. Walks. Um, like to get two walks in a day. Oh, and I guess this is Tuesday, so I can mark off what we did yesterday. We worked on hold yesterday. We did not do read. We worked on splat. We worked on feet. We worked on mailbox. We actually didn't do read or send yesterday. So it's helpful for me to be able to track like, what we're doing when. Uh, and then we have our notes section and then medication and supplements. I also like to use this section and for tracking <clears throat> any kind of uh, structured um, conditioning work that I'm doing. So I am going to do her supplements. We do daily supplements, which she got those yesterday and today. Oh, I also walks. I didn't check off walks. <laughs> oh, she got brushed yesterday. See, I didn't. I got myself distracted. We did two walks yesterday. We've already done a morning walk. We'll do another afternoon walk. It's supposed to be beautiful today. But I like to put, um, like I was saying, conditioning stuff over here. I think conditioning is incredibly important. I think it's super important that it is uh, something you're doing with any dog, but especially our canine athletes. Uh, I just finished a level one fit dog instructor program with the American Kennel Club. More on that very, very soon and how I plan to incorporate that into my coaching. But our PT exercises come from working with her veterinary physical therapist. So I'm gonna put stretch. We have specific stretches we need to be doing every day. And I'm also gonna be doing um, tuck sit over here. I am abundantly aware, you know, that those are things that um, we need to do every day in general for her because of her specific orthopedic needs. Sirius did have bilateral TPLO knee surgery when she was three. She's also mildly dysplastic uh, and she just turned five. And as a giant breed, that means she is on the very edge of being a senior, which is kind of mind blowing to me, but I am really committed to doing whatever we can to making sure she is as conditioned as possible. And so that's something we work really closely with our physical therapists um, 
sports medicine rehab vet with to make sure that all the exercises we're doing are things that are good for her and help her to be able to do the things she loves to do for the long haul. So we did that yesterday, we did that yesterday, and I think that is what our week is going to look like. I'm really excited to be back in the planner. Uh, I definitely have missed having this kind of visual of what we're doing. Like I said, you know, I was changing a lot about how I structured my own um, planning for my business, and I thought I could kind of incorporate this into my other planner or into my daily art journaling practice, but I like having the separate space to be able to what I'm working on with my dog. So I hope this was helpful. This is what we're working on this week. If you would like to see more planning videos, let me know in the comments. I can always let you know uh, how it went this week and we can set up next week, maybe next week if I stay in this planner, which is my plan. So uh, let me know if that's something you're interested in. If you want to get your own planner for your dogs, again, the links are in the description box below. You can get the print copy. I believe it's $9.99 on Amazon. Um, and then the PDF download if that's something you would prefer. In the meantime, I hope that you and your dogs have tons of fun and I will see you in another training video very, very soon. Bye!